were learning more about a forest discovered underwater off the coast of Alabama, which researchers say is more than 50,000 years old. Now, earlier we talked to Ben Rains, the executive director of the Weeks Bay Foundation. He explained how Hurricane Katrina helped lead to this discovery. The fishermen that initially found it, found it shortly after Katrina. And, you know, the hurricanes here, when they come in, once they get in under 100 feet of water, they're disturbing the bottom, and they can move vast amounts of sand. In some cases, they can move 5 or 10 feet of sand off the bottom. And that appears to be what happened here. Because these trees, you know, as soon as I dove down there, I, I ran into the first tree stump very close to the anchor. I swam a few feet, and there was another one, and then another one, and another one. And I quickly realized there were hundreds of them all around me. And then there was this ledge, and it's almost like the edge of a, of a river channel. Uh, I mean, that's what it appears to be down there. And there were just stumps all along the ledge, just like you'd see cypress today, you know, standing so, in a swamp along the edge of a river. Tell us you know, what this discovery uh, tells us about the past and climate change. Well, it tells us that, you know, climate change is actually, it, it happens. Whether we cause it or not, uh, it's real. And we're talking these days about a three-foot rise in sea level in 100 years, well, that's what did these trees in, you know, melting glaciers and the sea levels rose, and these were at one point living trees that just got covered up by the ocean.